made the difference in terms of my winning and, and Tom not. I still think it was just that. It was the people. I just think it was the people. And the people's trust in me as a, being a person able to represent them. So they had trust in me and I have trust in them. And I'm just going to do my darnest to live up to the trust that the people of the district have placed in me. Everything I want to wish you everything, good luck and good health and long life. Thank you. Yeah, it won't be long. The cards and letters are pouring in to congratulate the dean of the School of Education at Hampton University, who says she ran and won against all odds. Some of the things that they said you can't win because you're black, you're female, you're not a Democrat, and all of the other things that. No, said I said I could. This is the first time Dr. Christian has run for political office, although she says she has campaigned in the past for at least four other candidates. Her first goal is to become familiar with the rules of the General Assembly and work hard. I'm very concerned about the, the drastic decline in our quality students, those high achieving students who are not selecting education. Now, I don't blame students for, because especially female students, uh, minority students. At one time, females, that was the only avenue of mobility. And for black and minority students, teaching was the only avenue. So I applaud them going into business and into uh, computer science and all of those areas. For the campaign, uh, all the students that I got for the campaign. How are you? Good. 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 Dr. Christian says although her political future is taking off now, she hasn't given much thought to the question of what's next, but she's interested in paving the road for other young people aspiring to make the best of their lives. Alveda Yule, 13 News, Hampton.